What's up everyone, it is Zombie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get these badges in Resident Massacre Night 2. So the badges I'm going to be showing you how to get easily are this fedora, this brain, this outfit, this badge, this badge, and this badge. Now, if you know me, then you know I'm not just going to tell you how to get these badges. I'm going to show you an easy way to get them as well. This strategy that I'm going to be using is actually found by this user called Poland. Make sure to subscribe to him and check him out. I'll link his video in the description below. So for the starting area, there's not really much you have to do. Just go through the standard objectives. And it's later on when you actually start prepping for the night is when you can do stuff. Now you want to go out here towards the exit. And you're going to see this huge like tower thing. And what you want to do is go on the ladder and go just beneath the little edge there. So I use the witch hat so that my little points at the top is going to basically tell me if I'm in the correct position. Now you also want to look up through the entire night to make sure that you don't get killed by the stalker. And this is me winning with this strategy. Um, it might be too dark for you to see, but I did end up winning using this strategy for the first time. Very useful and very easy to pull off. Not much skill is required. As you can see, the little worker guy is scared and he's finally realizing that it's safe to come out now. Yeah, and uh, uh, you should go in there, bud. Maybe you can hide in there. You have the key card. The monster probably doesn't, and the monster's probably not here. Oh no, the door open. Oh no. Oh no, he's still alive. Oh no, he's still alive. Oh no. And this is us escaping. Looking back like I'm glad I got out of that place. Survive night two. GG's. And so this will probably give you the power save, power saver badge, um, and the brain hat, but I didn't end up getting it on that play, play, playthrough. You also get the fedora hat. For Blood Moon, you just do the same exact thing, except for this time, except this time, gotta make sure that the lightning has already struck the tower before you go on it now if you want to you could take the risk and go on it before the lightning has struck it as long as it hasn't as long as it's been af as long as it's been after your pre setup shift so i got both of the badges power saver and the blood moon badge on this run because I didn't end up using any of the batteries. I was kind of exploring on my first run. Now this cutscene is still the same so I'm going to skip through this for you. By completing the blood moon you'll actually get this worker outfit and you actually get an outfit and I'm pretty sure you don't actually get any other outfits from just winning a blood moon. Yeah because when you win blood moon on night one it just gives you flaming vision. So yeah that's that's pretty neat. It's the only non-event outfit, so that's good to get. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.